Africa. Hello, everybody. I don't know if we just started going live now. Something may have been happening. But anyhow, we were talking about James Hannington, the Bishop of Eastern Equatorial Africa, the first Anglican Bishop of that area, made Bishop at 36, started on his mission at the age of 37, and unfortunately met his death uh, within uh, 10 months after leaving for Africa, was taken by the King of Buganda at the time, who was understandably very concerned about uh, uh, foreigners coming into their land, but he was martyred along with some others in Uganda, uh, what would, uh, Uganda being a large portion of what would be modern day Uganda, and uh, he was celebrated this week, so a very interesting story. Um, with that, we will get started on Compline. Just a reminder to everybody to send in those prayer requests if you have them, uh, and uh, we'll go ahead and get started. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord. The maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our heavenly Father, Father, we, we have, have sinned, sinned against you through our own fault, fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Jesus, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of thy Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. So we will now read through the Psalter on the middle of page 128. We'll start with Psalm 4 reading whole verse responsively. Answer me when I call, O God, defender of my cause. You set me free when I am hard-pressed. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. You Your mortals, mortals how, how long, long will you dishonor, dishonor my glory? How, how long will you worship dumb idols and run after, after false gods? gods? Know that the Lord does wonders for the faithful. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Tremble, Tremble them and do, do, not not sin. Sin. do not sin. Speak, Speak to, to your heart in silence, silence upon your bed. bed. Offer the appointed sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. Many, Many are saying, oh, that we, we might, might see better times. times. Lift, Lift up the light, light of your countenance upon us, us, O Lord. You have put gladness in my heart more than when grain and wine and oil increase. I lay down in peace. At once I fall asleep. For you, for only you, Lord, make me dwell in safety. Sorry, we had to let the dogs out. Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me and make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out to, take me out to the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Now moving along, we'll move to the middle of page 131. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Do not forsake us, O Lord our God. Thanks be to God. Come to me, all who are la who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. And now to the middle of page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. And let our cry come to you. Let us pray, moving down through the colics. We'll start with the first one. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. 
for the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. To the middle of page 134. O oh God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and, and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends on each other's toil through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And now briefly, we're going to look at the intercessions that have been requested. Uh, let's see here. For Carlos. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. I thought we were just doing that for ourselves. <laughs> oh, pray for oh, Barbara. Barbara and May, May May. Okay. All right. So good to see people this evening. Let me just make sure we're checking for any others. And then we'll get started. All Carlos and Mamet. Well, no. Barbara. Barbara and Mamet. Okay. Thank God. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you again for giving us another beautiful week this week, for beautiful weather here in this area, for the opportunity to worship together, both with our lady-led daily prayer services and, and uh, our church services on the weekend. Father, we ask that you continue to guide our clergy and our staff at Epiphany through this uh, challenging time and help them to continue to lead us through um, through this to be able to come together as best we can. Thank you for this wonderful season of stewardship we just completed uh, together. And uh, we ask that everybody uh, has had a chance to have a prayerful and thoughtful time to reflect on this opportunity and to look forward to next year. Father, we ask that you pour your healing spirit on those that need it most right now, particularly Carlos, Barbara, and May May, and anyone else that's suffering at this time particularly those impacted by the crisis, those that may need your healing grace or those that may feel insecurity in, in non-physical ways but are troubled at this time and help us all to lean into each other as a community and to help out. Father, uh, we ask that you continue to be with the frontline workers and the teachers and all those that are really putting uh, uh, their selfless efforts forward to help others in the community. And Father, we just ask that you bless us with a wonderful week this week and ask for your continued guidance and grace and it's in your name we pray amen. amen all right so now we will finish up uh guide us waking O lord and guard us sleeping that awake we may watch with christ and asleep we may rest in peace lord you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised for these eyes of mine have seen the savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Amen. Listen, y'all, so good to see everybody. Um, we had six followers tonight live. So no, we had seven at one point. Oh, so our audience <laughs> is like going way up. Percentage-wise, we are going through the roof. Uh, thanks, as always, to Amanda. Your ministry to all of us on this is amazing. And thanks for the uh, last-minute technical support, yes, as always, you, with us. Amanda. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, we look forward to seeing everybody. Have and, a wonderful uh, week. Have a wonderful week. And please reach out to us if there's anything we can do. We love you all. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.